Well, hi guys, this is Melissa from My Puzzle Life. I've uh, been kind of a long day. Um, my medication's making me sleep a lot. Sean woke me up to take him to the clinic, which ended up um, having, me, having me take him to the ER because he's been having pains in his side. So they were concerned that maybe kidney stones or something. They think he just ended up straining it, so he's okay. I had some morphine and an IV and, and um, a CAT scan. So that's kind of where we are right now. We're finally home. Uh, went to Waterburger and got some to eat, which I hate Waterburger now. So I had a few bites of a lemon pie, put it in the refrigerator, and my burger and my onion rings can't eat it. It just makes me throw up, which I did. Uh, I got my new Boxy Charm box. I just opened it. I haven't looked in it. It's a tiny, tiny box. So um, I've canceled it a couple of times, uh, and every time I cancel it, they start one of them back up. So I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I um, don't know where my glasses are. Um, so we'll just look and see what's in it. Um, Mark Jacobs, and I can't read and see what it is. I'll open it and see. that turn more light on. I don't know if it's a lip gloss or an eyeshadow to tell you the truth because I can't see it to um to read it. At all. And it's so dark in here. I can't tell what it is. But it's a pretty color. You can see. And then there's Wonder Beauty, Do Not Disturb. Overnight Repair Concentrate. I should have opened these, so I could have opened them, but they're all tiny. Um, the smallest box I've ever received from them. Maybe because I canceled right after again and I have this already I already have one of these and I really didn't care for it for what I've had it um then there's Natasha Denona oh, I can't read I can't see it I'm sorry I should have found my glasses and I don't know what I've done with them And it's either a lip gloss or an eyeshadow. And I'm sorry this is kind of crap because I don't, I can't read any of it. I can't even read the card. This says um, a matte concealer. I don't know. And let me see. I can't remember. Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs. Hmm. Liquid eyeshadow. So don't go putting it on your mouth like I did. Not it. And this again, Wonder Beauty Overnight Repair. Do not disturb overnight repair concentrate. Like I said, I already have one of them. I haven't used it. Didn't really care for it to begin with. This says dose of color. And I don't know what they're in there doing. And I have one of these kind of pencils. And I haven't figured out how to get it to open.
those of color eyeliner which I need another eyeliner but I don't know how to get it to open I'm gonna have to play with it because I have a couple of these that I've received from them and this is kiss my kiss my kiss my and I don't know why they're in there but they're hauling it out I went to Whataburger with them, which I wish I wouldn't have, cause, you know, then I had to spend time with the one I don't want to spend time with. I don't know, maybe y'all must think I'm horrible, but it's just how it is. I just, in all honesty, want to throw up every time I'm near him. I know it's horrible. And that's a really pretty color. Really like that. In a sense, it has kind of a minty taste, to tell you the truth. Truly, really, I like it. Probably so far the thing I like the best out of it. And this one is another Marc Jacobs. And I think this was just thrown together box because I canceled, honestly, to tell you the truth. Because I've got one thing that I've already received that I pencil. I know I have one like that, which may be the same one. It's it's kind of a crappy box compared to most boxes I receive from um, BoxyCharm. I'm not impressed at all with this box, and I'm not really sure what this is. This may be a primer. What was that other one? That smell coconutty, so I think this is the primer. Feels good though, so I kinda like this, if it is a primer. Like I said, I can't read anything in here. But, um. They're in there watching if you can't tell back from the future. And I had a, a friend of mine who's also a friend of Billy's thought I called his son retarded, which I did not. So they're threatening to come down here to try to have me committed because they said I can't cope to live with myself as if they're ever here with me to know Number one, Billy is not my husband anymore, so he can't do nothing. So whatever they think they're going to do, they're going to come to a big halt. So I'm really um, angry, needless to say. So um, nine millimeters aren't meant for nothing. So I have one sitting over there. So let them try to come up here. And then they're going to try to get my brother involved. Like my brother even knows me. Which is bullshit to tell you the truth. None of my siblings know me. So whatever. I'm still considering um, checking in for depression. Which my daughter really wants me to. And I'm still thinking about it. Not real sure yet. For the last couple of days I've felt kind of normal. I haven't been so depressed as I had been. So, I don't know. I don't want to go unless I'm really depressed and like rock bottom. And right now, I'm not. And, um, I haven't blacked out for about a week now. So, I'm doing pretty good. Kind of Sean's listening to me. So I'm not blacking out, which is a good thing. Probably, I guess, about a week now I haven't blacked out. I've kind of felt myself slipping into it every once in a while, but I concentrate and bring myself out of it. And um, they're wanting to go on a picnic tomorrow, but the house is a mess. So I'm not going anywhere with the house a mess. I told Sean to put dishes up last, put clean, put food up last night, and it's still sitting in there. 
So I'm not going anywhere with a house like this. So I don't know. Life goes on with or without him and with or without him. So um, everything will be okay. Um, you know, bipolar is a bitch. But I think I'm doing okay right now. I feel I feel in tune with myself. I, I've driven for the past two days. I didn't have a hard time driving. So um, everything is going pretty good. Maybe I'm starting to get past part of the morning part. Um, but y'all be sure to keep watching. Um, I'd appreciate if y'all would subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell notification to get reminders of when my videos post. Um, like, share, comment. I'd appreciate any comments on how you deal with things like this. And men and harassment and bipolar and mourning. And if you have any recipes, anything like that to share, I would love them because we'd love to try them. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.